Welcome my dear light bulbs to my first ever Black Clover review. If you're a new viewer to my channel, remember to subscribe to become part of the light bulb army and I will review Black Clover weekly. So let's get right into the review. So this episode was really interesting. It was just like an introduction to the world, the series, you know, episode one. And it was a really nice episode. I'm not going to lie to you, but it is it the best thing I've ever seen from an episode one? No, it's not. Is it like the most creative series ever made? No, it's not. It's only episode one. But um, the characters are interesting. So the first point I want to talk about is Asa's character because he does seem like the protagonist of the series and we see him a lot during the episode. So basically Asa, he has no magic uh, and you know, he's an underdog. He has no magic in a world where nobody has ever seen anybody without magic, which is crazy. So Asa got really bad luck in that field. So he's an underdog. He wants to become the Wizard King, which I'm assuming is like the highest rank in this magical world of Black Clover. And without magic, becoming Wizard King, like his friend Yuno said, is kind of impossible for him. But Yuno towards the end did confirm, look, Asa is still my rival. And we've seen Asa doing like um, overhead push-ups and stuff, like standing on his um, hands, and he did like a thousand of them. So yeah, that definitely did remind me of Rock Lee from Naruto, and you could definitely see the comparison. Now, I like Asa's personality because he's just very hyper. Like he said, very hyper protagonist. He's all over the place. Um, he's goofy at times. He hit himself against a wall in this episode, which was really funny. So right there, his character, is likable for me because he, he's just like super hyper. Now, um, one of the things I did not like about Asta in this episode was not the character itself, but the voice actor. Asta's voice is like, I don't know, it, it sounds annoying to tell you the truth. Like, I don't know, it, it sounds a bit cringy or something. I, I, I just don't like Asta's voice. I'm, I wish they would have toned it down just a little bit because he's like all over the place. He's like, I don't know. Another thing is that Asta, yeah, does seem to be all over the place, but you know, he's very serious about his goal, which was introduced in episode one, which is really good because a lot of anime series don't introduce the goal of the protagonist until episodes later, or sometimes the protagonist doesn't even have a goal, which is really annoying because how you have a series without a goal or a set plan in motion that sees, um, an ending so Asa's goal as well as Yuno's goal is to become the Wizard King. Now the second one I want to talk about is Yuno and him getting chosen by a four leaf Grimoire or Grimoire? Uh, Grimoire I, I, I think that's how you say it. Which was really interesting I really like that because you know this guy asked his friends and birth they were both orphans at the same time. This kid he just he's just very powerful both asta and him are 15 years old and i felt a little bit bad for asta during the ceremony when there everybody was getting their grandma and he was like where is mine saying he didn't get one until the end when he was fighting Rebchi, which yeah was really interesting so now the last point i want to talk about because this is going to be a short review i'm not going to recap everything is asta got a gr grimoire yeah i think it's grimoire Asa got a Grimoire in the end, and it was like a it was a five leaf Grimoire. And towards the end, the narrator said that a five leaf Grimoire means it's a demon. Like, so are we gonna get an Asa demon form later on in the series, or are we just it's just like this Grimoire is really overpowering and stuff? And out of Asa's Grimoire, a big metallic sword came out, and which made Repchi even scared. And Repchi dropped his Grimoire like. I didn't sense any magical power within him, so uh, I don't know how Asta has a Grimoire without magical power, but um, we gotta wait for, I guess, episode two or later on to see why it is that. And for an episode one, it was a decent um, start of it, and because of that, I'm gonna give this episode a seven out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this short review, and if you did, remember to have a great day. Peace.